Today I'm talking about a condition called perioral dermatitis. Perioral dermatitis is very common. It affects many people and it is so frustrating. In this video, I will discuss what perioral dermatitis is, what we think may cause it and what to do about it. If you're just tuning in, I'm Dr. Abby Waldman. I'm a dermatologist at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. So what is perioral dermatitis? Well, it is what it sounds like. It's a rash that is around the mouth. Although it's also around the nose and sometimes around the eyes too. Generally, perioral dermatitis presents as small red bumps. They can be itchy, they can burn. While it can affect anyone, including children, it tends to be most common in women, particularly between the age of 16 and 45. Now the exact cause of perioral dermatitis is not actually well understood. We think it has something to do with products you're putting on your face, um, which, which is why you might see it more in young women. Uh, one product that has been shown to cause perioral dermatitis is when you're using a lot of topical steroids on your face, especially if those steroids are strong, like prescription strength steroids. But even inhaled steroids, like those you would use for asthma or bronchitis, have been shown to be associated with perioral dermatitis, which is why if you use those for health reasons, you need to wash out your mouth with mouthwash afterwards. When steroids are not the cause, often it can take a lot of digging and detective work to figure out what might be triggering your perioral dermatitis. A lot of the things that we put on our face or put in our mouth actually have allergens. Um, and if you are sensitive to those, then it can be causing the perioral dermatitis. It can be causing a rash. And those can be fragrance. They can be formaldehyde releasers. Fluoride in toothpaste can actually trigger perioral dermatitis. Cinnamon in gum can trigger perioral dermatitis. The face mask that you're wearing to protect yourself from COVID can actually cause it by trapping fungus and bacteria that come from inside your mouth and just trapping them right on your skin. Also surgical masks actually contain formaldehyde releasers, which if you are sensitive to can cause a rash around your mouth. So what can you do to manage perioral dermatitis? So for one, it's important just to look at anything you're using on your face and just make sure it doesn't contain a steroid. Now, sometimes certain prescriptions that you might not really think of do contain a steroid. For instance, products that can be prescribed for hyperpigmentation um, sometimes are compounded with a topical steroid to reduce redness. If you got a cream online or if you got the cream in another country, it might not list a steroid on the ingredients, but there actually is some steroid included. Obviously, if you were inadvertently using a steroid on your face, you just stop it. And just know that you're likely to have a flare of the dermatitis when you stop a steroid, but that eventually it's gonna pay off and be worth it. Now, what if you're not using a steroid? That is not the cause of your perioral dermatitis, which is the case in a lot of the cases. So for one, you're just gonna really minimize your skincare. You're gonna use really basic skincare a gentle cleanser, a gentle moisturizer. You're really gonna to wanna to avoid any harsh chemicals. You're not gonna use any abrasive scrubs. Everything should be fragrance free, including makeup. Now this does not have to be forever. Oftentimes I recommend doing this until it starts to clear and then adding products back one by one every week or so and seeing if any of those start to flare the perioral dermatitis. So you're really acting as somewhat of a detective here. So if you have very mild dermatitis, often just doing the basic skincare, doing some Vaseline and maybe even adding a topical antifungal like clotrimazole will do the trick. Another over-the-counter medication that's been shown to help with perioral dermatitis is azelaic acid. For more severe cases, I do recommend that you enroll the help of a dermatologist to help you get the optimal treatment, as well as to hone down on the causes of your perioral dermatitis. Some prescription strength treatments that your doctor may recommend include mitronidazole, which is a topical antimicrobial, elidil or tacrolimus, uh, non-steroidal treatments that are anti-inflammatory and can help with the redness, the pain, the itching. Some people may need a longer course of oral antibiotics, usually in the tetracycline group like minocycline or doxycycline. And in some specific cases, topical or oral retinoids might be used. So please like this video if it was helpful, comment, uh, recommend other videos in the future, and subscribe if you want dermatologist advice on taking care of your skin.